Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are gonna get a lot of stuff done, hopefully. Well, hopefully this week we get a lot of stuff done. My goal is to get about nine art dolls done this week, maybe more. I kinda need certain ones done for videos, obviously, but I really want to get these little guys done because I've been working on them for a while. I've been getting all the heads ready and these are just going to be some cute little chubby snakes. I've got eight heads in total. All the fabric and everything is sewed. We just need to assemble them today. And then I have a albino fox bat that I've been slowly working on. I've got everything basically ready for us to assemble that too. The only thing I need for that before starting assembling is making the wire frame. But today I think we're going to focus on the snakes and then um, probably tomorrow we'll work on putting our little fox bat together. Anyways, I need to get some stuffing out. It's the only thing I don't have out for the snakes yet. Okay, if I need more, I can just grab more. But that should be good to start with. I think I'm going to start on stuffing the bodies and then what we're going to do is each one's going to have a wire to them um, because they are resin and I used wires so that I could pull them out of the molds. Um, I need to attach the wire frame to the little pieces of wire hanging out of the necks before we add the heads to the bodies. So I'm going to try and do them basically all at once, but... We'll see if that works. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, this is the pattern I made for the body, just a simple top and bottom, and I made it just kind of a short, chubby little snake body. There's a gnat. Got it. <laughs> so over the weekend, I've been getting a lot of molds casted for our projects because a lot of the tutorials that I wanted to do required um, making molds and I finally have them all casted and if I get enough time we're going to test them out today at the end of the day that way I don't have all the resin everywhere in my way. I'll need to pick up some more silicone if I want to do any molds again because I'm a little low. I might be able to do a few more but right now we're kind of on the low side of silicone. I did a lot the other day. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so excited to finally have all of these done and in my shop. Um, they will most likely be done by the end of this vlog, so if you guys are interested in uh, getting one of these cute little guys, they are going to be in my Etsy shop. I'll have the link down in the description. Um, I don't know if our fox bat will be done, but the blue one I think is still in there right now. Don't quote me on that because I can't uh, guarantee that it'll be there by the time this is uploaded, but you're welcome to check if you guys are interested in the blue one that I made for the tutorial. But yeah, we're going to have a lot added to the shop. Um, I should have the octopus pattern up for sale by now. So if you guys uh, really liked that tutorial that I did like, I think over a year ago and you wanted to follow along. I've got that finally available, and I'm slowly working on adding more patterns to the shop. It's just been uh, time consuming. I'm only slightly behind because I decided all the projects that I wanted to do, I wanted to make molds of, so everything had to wait for that, but that's fine. We're going to get caught up and have a lot of really fun tutorials coming our way. Well, I was right. I needed more stuffing. I almost got five of them stuffed. I need to grab some more. Okay, I got all the bodies finished. <laughs> and now I just need to heat up my hot glue gun so we can get the wires added to the neck. And then we can put the heads onto the body. <laughs> So I think I might have to adjust the wires after we add them. Yeah, they're just a little too long. I originally made the length based off of like how I normally add the wires inside of the head, so they're a little bit longer than they need to be. So yeah, we're going to attach these real quick and then I'll figure out what length I need to adjust them to. 
and then I can put everything together. Yeah, so far these are going by pretty fast, so I think we'll have plenty of time to pour a bunch of resin for the molds. I also have to get a video scheduled today, but that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I'm finally done with all of our little snakes. Well, kind of. I'm still debating on trying to do some little decorative thing to them, so I'm going to probably sit on it for a day and think about it. But so far, they're all put together. I have them in the basket so they're nice and organized. And here, I'll grab one. It's just very simple little body. They're poseable. Just kind of like a little worm. Very simple, but very cute. But yeah, it's kind of just a little bit plain on the back, so I'm kind of wanting to put a pattern or something there. So I'm going to think about it, and then tomorrow we'll probably make some changes to these. But it is getting a little late, so I need to get started on those molds, get everything poured. That way we have our resin pieces for tomorrow. Okay, so it's the following morning. I've got everything cured. I took out one little one to test it out, and it seems fine. So I'm gonna get everything pulled out and I'll show you guys how everything looks. Okay, so I got everything out of the molds. They look pretty good. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the little frog pieces first. I need to clean up the edges because this one overflowed a bit, but I've got the little frog head right there. I need to make two more of these because I'm gonna try and make three. And then I've got the little feet. There's one of the back ones. And actually, no, these are the back ones. These are the front ones. Okay. Like, yeah. So I've got all the little feet for them. They're very bright on camera. <laughs> they don't look that bright in person, but for some reason, they look really bright on camera. And then I've got a bunch of pieces for our angler dragon. So I'm going to end up casting another pair of pieces for this. This one is going to be a pink one, and then I'm going to do a black one for the video. So you'll see both of those in the video. I just, the pink one's going to be easier to do the tutorial. Black tends to have problems with showing up on camera, but I really wanted to do a black one as well. So I'm just gonna do two of them. That is the head. And then we have the back feet, which are a little bit bigger. And then we also have the little front feet. And all of these came out really well, especially with all the claws kind of spread out, except for this one claw. It got a tiny, tiny little bubble. None of the other ones did it, but that one did. So I'm gonna have to try and fill that in with more resin and kind of clean it up a bit. I think that'll be perfectly fine. And then we have our jaw pieces. So this one's not gonna be part of the tutorial. This one was just an extra one that I did. I made um, two beaks. I made a short one and you can see that it opens up pretty nicely like that. And then the one that's going to be in the tutorial, I've got more of a raven style beak and it opens up. And yeah, the connections I was really worried with, but they look like they're pretty good. Um, probably have to improve on it. I think I'll sand some of the ends down a little bit. And then what I'm really happy with, this was a little hard to get put together because I had to snap them together. I'll show more in the tutorial on how I decided to go about doing these since they were made out of resin. But um, I got the canine ones. And I tried doing like the base, like a different color and then the teeth, more of a white, just to mess around with it. And they don't open up too much. If I wanted to, I can sand it down a little bit, but they open up just enough to where like, I think they work. And they're, they're pretty on there. I don't think I could pull them apart if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all of our molds uncasted, I'm gonna start back up on these snakes. I figured what we could do is use my heat transfer vinyls. I haven't messed with these very much at all. I think I've done like one video with them. And I'm just gonna make a very simple little pattern. I figured we could just kind of, uh, here's a little paper one, just kind of lay it like that. Just add a little bit of color. So I picked out a few colors that are 
similar to what we have fabric wise they're just slightly different so we got the green so it's a little bit darker we've got lighter blues darker blues pinks just all the different colors that'll work with these little guys okay so i'm just waiting for my iron to heat up and i've got everything laid out i cut out all the little markings to go onto our snakes and uh hopefully this works because i haven't used this a lot so I think we're hot. <laughs> Just gonna lay him down. Figure out where the marking should go. Cover it up with another piece of fabric so that I don't melt the thing. And we're gonna do this for about 10 minutes, I think. Okay, so I finally got all the patterns all laid out. I've ironed them on and I peeled off all the excess stuff and they look really good. They're still squishy. They kind of wrinkle a little bit when I move around, but they're like, they're not cracking or anything or pulling too much. So it looks really good. I got all of them done. I think the only thing we have left before these can go up for sale is a photo shoot and then to get the listing going. I think my favorite is between the blue and maybe the pink. I'm not usually a pink fan, but I really like how the eyes look compared to the pink that just contrasts really nicely. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I was going to have this little guy close to being finished for this vlog, but I think we can get him done. I've got him pretty much all assembled. I'm going to get some shaving done. I'm not going to do much because for his design I like leaving him really fluffy, but I'm going to clean up here so I can add the ears, uh, shave the fronts of the arms, and I might do a little bit around the legs. I can't remember if I did that the first time but just kind of uh, cleaning him up a little bit so we can get him finished. And then it would just be like furring the face and his back feet a little bit. He is so pink. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, so I ended up getting the face all finished. It's still wet, so I'm trying to be really careful handling it. I also furred the back feet a little bit. So he is all done. I just need him to dry, and I can take some photos and put him up on Etsy. So, um, like I said, with the little plush snakes, he will be in my Etsy shop when this uh, vlog goes live. So if you guys are watching this, it should be in there unless someone grabbed it. Also, the blue one should still be in there too. I haven't sold it yet. Oh, it is foggy out. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, it's the following day. You can probably hear my coffee brewing in the background. Um, I have all of this in my workspace. I recently got all the um, frogs resined, so they're good to start being put together. I've got a bunch of fabric over here cut out for the dragon that has the poseable jaw. 
which that was last week's tutorial, I believe. So if you guys haven't seen that, check that out. And I'm going to clean everything up, and we're going to take some photos of him and get that listing drafted and hopefully up for this vlog. And I already have photos for the snakes, so that's already drafted and ready. So as soon as this vlog is live, all of these guys are going to be up for sale. <laughs> Okay, I got everything out of the way, and now I need to find a fabric that'll look good with him for the backdrop. Let's see. Okay, so I'm debating on using this. I ended up using this for the backdrop for the posable jaw tutorial thumbnail, and I think it came off really pretty on camera. I don't know if it goes well with his fur color. And then I have this fabric, which is really pretty. I think it looks a little bit better. I think I'm going to try this first. I don't want it too dark though. I'm concerned it might be too dark for the photos. Well, let's just try it and see what it does. There we go. I think it looks pretty. Again, I just need to test it out and see how the photos look. Okay, so the purple actually worked really well. I'm happy with the photos. I also took some photos for a thumbnail. So he's going to be in her thumbnail, which you probably already got to see, but yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, the rest of the day, I'm going to be working on putting our little flying frogs together. I was going to work on the angler dragons and putting those together because they're basically ready to be put together too. But those I'm going to have posable and I ran out of wire. <laughs> I'm actually waiting on a shipment to come in of basically 35 pounds of wire for my art dolls. I decided to buy it in bulk because it ended up saving me a good chunk of money. I've actually found if you can buy things in bulk, you can save almost 50 to $60. And also, this is enough wire to probably last me years. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up purchasing um 10 spools of 350 feet each <laughs> so much wire i can't wait to see it it should be in today but i need to start on something and the frogs are not going to be posable okay i have all the different pieces ready to assemble our frogs and i can't wait to get them together now these will clearly not be ready by the time this vlog goes live, but they should be up in my shop soon. I'm gonna wait until the tutorial is live though, so. Yeah. They're gonna be kinda cute and a little bit creepy, but yeah, I think they'll look cool. Anyways, because I'm gonna be working on a tutorial for the rest of the day, I probably won't vlog, so I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here, but before I go, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a sneak peek for the angler dragons, because I did get the sewing done for their tails. So the one that you'll mainly see in the tutorial is going to be the pink one with blue fins. Now I got that done, and I'm doing kind of like a nice iridescent belly. And then the one that you will see in the tutorial, but it won't be like done for the tutorial, it's hard to explain, it is a black and green one. Black doesn't show up on camera too well, so I decided that I wanted to make it for the tutorial, but it's not going to be the one that you see being made in the tutorial. <laughs> but yeah, this one is going to be all black with green fins, and then this is the underbelly. And yeah, I can't wait to put these together, but I have to because my wire is not in. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.